You know, it doesn't bother me what up or it? down, but uh, I prefer going up because if I got to pay more, that's fine. It's twenty four fifty right now. Yeah, it's that's shocking because it's almost uh, twenty one fifty nine an ounce. Wow, if it gets too expensive. I'm not gonna be. Able, I'm not gonna be able to buy it. Yeah, anymore. I understand. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Um, what did you guys think of the State of the Union address last night? If you watched it, um, seems like President Biden was very angry. He seemed to be uh, yelling at us the whole time. Uh, that's what I got out of that. But you know, it is what it is. So. Um, Silver and gold still remain strong right now, guys. Uh, as of the making of this clip in the video, gold's at 21.75 and silver's slightly down at 24.33 per ounce. So it seems strong. I don't see it, you know, it doesn't feel like it's pulling back. Like it, you know, has it just, uh, silver in the past has just, you know, ran up a little and then immediately sell off. But, you know, it seems to be stable. And uh, gold just seems to keep running. Uh, also, I just saw a message that Bitcoin, your favorite thing, guys, Bitcoin hit 70K. So uh, that's on a tear. But, you know, my uh, suggestion on that, if you're making money from that, sell some of those profits and uh, maybe get yourself some metals. But, you know, what do I know? Uh, um, I don't know the future, you know, and uh, that's just my opinion. But um I'm going to show you these upcoming clips are of transactions I had in my shop from yesterday, actually. I filmed most of these, and um, they're just interactions with different customers. Uh, it's kind of a day in the life of a coin shop owner. It's pretty interesting, you know, how uh, things go. I thought you guys might like, you know, might like to see that. Uh, it's a little more interesting than to me just standing here talking all the time. But um, also, if you could... Please like and subscribe. Uh, leave some comments below if you see anything interesting, and uh, you know, let me know what you think of uh, you know this format of a video. I'd appreciate it. Uh, so stay tuned. I'll be right back. What can I help you with? I'm looking to sell some silver today. Silver? Yeah. Let's bring it over here for you. Okay. What can I do? It's $100. $100 for each value, 90% silver coin? Okay. Where'd you get them? I think I'm for... For years? My years or more. So, did you buy from a... Originally, oh, where'd you buy from a coin shop? I eat Just curious. I, I, saved, I saved most of them. Yeah. I, I don't know if I... I don't know if I... I don't remember if I bought any or not. And you saved all I these for years? Oh, oh. I, I started saving them back in the mid sixties. Really? Oh yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Why did you? Why did? Just curious. What was going through your head? Why did you save all these silver? Well, they were. They were. You know, they were. What were they? Ten percent over face value or something? But did you see a future for silver? Is that why? Oh, yeah. yeah. You're just like a, yeah. Just curious. That's all. No, I. I this is. I, I've had a couple thousand dollars in silver. Yeah. Okay. So you got a hundred. I'm gonna have to run it through the coin counter. Yeah. There's, yeah there's, there's, there should be a hundred. Okay. And then I'll give you. I'll give you a price. What's up, Mike? What do you got today? These silver eagles. Mm -hmm. These are nice. These are in those uh, Littleton cases. No more too much. This Not worth too much. No, no. This, that's it. <laughs> that's all you have left. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see what I can do for you, buddy. All right, I'll give you a price. Hold on. Okay. How you been? Just working. Working? House. Okay. My house. Your house. How's it going? Hello. Quick signature for you. All right. Here it was. Yeah. yeah. What's up, man? How you been? How you doing? I do for you today. Just stop in, look at the silver, to go pick up some more. Pick up some more silver. How, yep. do, you, how do you like the prices? Uh, I like that they're going up. You know, it doesn't bother me what up or it? down. But uh, I prefer going up because uh, if I got to pay more, that's fine. It's twenty four fifty right now. Yeah, it, it's that's shocking because almost uh, twenty one fifty nine an ounce. Wow. If it gets too expensive, I'm not gonna be. Able, I'm not gonna be able to buy it. Yeah, anything. I understand. But uh, hey, the more it goes up, the more I got to pay. But the more that I already. Uh, 
the stuff I have already. Yeah. It's worth that much more, so that's well, with me. I got a bunch of stuff in here. I just sold a bunch of stuff. I um I got another shipment coming in of buffaloes, just a yeah. one ounce buffalo rounds. Should be coming in UPS anytime soon. I'm right? thinking about picking up a few more eagles. I don't have that many eagles. So eagles, I got I very little. I got two two. Yeah, you, you want... always have a little. Like, let's see. You want these? Just yeah. Like two random twos. I got to order some more of these too. I, I keep running out. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I don't care about the year. Just as long as they're eagles, that's all good with me. All right. Yeah, I'll take those. Got it. Where do you think silver's going, man? Well, you think this is the big breakout? I don't really get too excited about these little tiny moves. Right. I, I'm waiting for a dollar, two, three dollars a day. A day. Yeah. And once I start doing two, three dollars a day, something to get excited about. But these fifty cents, twenty five cents, it's just the manipulation of up and down. Well, the, and down. yeah. The only thing I'm worried about for like me as a you know a dealer, right? <clears throat> if it get, if this stuff gets too. Excited, if silver hits a certain number, people are gonna start dumping it. Yes, you the, the ones the ones that are doing it for a trade. Yeah, the ones that are thinking they're trading it, or, right? Or they're, they're not making, in it for the long haul. Right. And uh, it already happened once, and it was like you know, right. uh, it yeah. kind it's it's it gets expensive. I mean, gold right now for me to even buy gold is oh, getting yeah. pretty expensive. I got to yeah, watch can't, it. You can't be trading it. You got to. It's a long term investment, and it's not even an investment. It's just a protection. It's insurance. You know? Insurance protection yeah. of what you have or anything that you're gonna lose. So I agree. yeah. The, and you can't guess the top. Oh, why? Anyway. why did I put these back? I don't know. All right, I'll write it up. All right, yeah. sounds good. Cash or charge? Always cash. Okay. I'll be right back. So I just got a package in from UPS, and I have a customer who bought, uh, he had me order seven uh, seven ounces or seven gold Kruger hands. Um, the premiums on these things are really, really low. They're very low. But I also got 300 uh, one ounce buffalo rounds in. And in between, after I, in between me making this video clip right now and opening the package, I had a customer come in that was, uh, you know, he buys a lot of silver from me. He, he took all of them. So, you know, they keep saying that uh, demand is down. And I know the price is rising, but actually, I'm seeing, starting to see more demand. Just so you guys know, I'm seeing more and more demand. Uh, the price doesn't seem to be scaring anybody at the moment. So we'll see what happens. What's up, man? What you get? What do you got here? Looks, <laughs> looks like a sterling flatware set. Yeah, I bought this at a Why state sale. Why is it sale, man? What? I bought this button at a state sale. <laughs> for, for 40 bucks? No, I, I offered him 20. He said the last day of the sale would be 20. What? He goes, <laughs> I go, how about 30? He goes, all right. He goes, I wish I had why more were you, time I mean, to research it. He's, why were you negotiating? It's all sterling silver. <laughs> I thought, well, for three reasons, I thought it was fake. The price was too low, and it's made in China, and there was a third uh, reason. Oh, they feel too light to me. Guess what? They're real. <laughs> you paid how much? 30 bucks? 30 bucks for this. There's got, there's, got, there's got to be at least 800 bucks worth of, worth of sterling. I don't know. I, I can weigh it up and, and I'll weigh it up and see. But hey, you hit the jackpot, man. I know. So what? <laughs> you just no, you just stopped at a random no, estate sale. No, I'm a scrapper. Yeah. So I was driving around the neighborhood scrapping, and I seen this set of estate sale starts at nine o'clock on Friday. Uh -huh. So I figured, well, I'll go over there and get some uh, shirts, you know, because uh -huh. I could get shirts for like <laughs> two bucks. I said maybe they'll have some jewelry, maybe they'll have some. So this you know. was this whole set was just sitting there. And yeah, it was sitting there, and all these other people walked past it, and I so I looked at it, it says sterling, and I go, wow. this can't be sterling for forty bucks. Well, I'm assuming you. I'm assuming. <laughs> I'm assuming you're. I'm assuming you're gonna keep this because I know you like to stack. You stack silver. So. Yeah, I'm a stacker. So you're gonna keep this? Yeah, when it hits fifty, it'd be worth what? Sixteen hundred? Yeah, I don't know exactly. I'm guessing. I'm guessing it's about eight hundred. It might be. A, <laughs> might be a thousand right now. I'm just flabbergasted because. Well, you got lucky, man. Well, congratulations, bro. All right. Congratulations. Man, thanks. I had to bring it to you, man. Congratulations. <laughs> What's going on, man? How you been? I'm good. You? I'm good. What, what can I do for you? Uh. You know, I'm going for the newest medal to the uh, the bullion, so oh, yeah. I'm gonna take your advice for it, and uh, I think you're right. Start buying some silver, huh? Yeah, I mean, you got a good little hoard going, but um, I'm gonna buy some generics. Um, 
Do you consider the two ounce Scottsdale's? I, I know you don't. You probably I, don't I don't have it. They're not really. Do you good. consider those premium though? Or? Yeah, those are premium. Yeah. That in the bucket's just the cheapest stuff. Okay. I just got in some. Uh, just got a shipment in of some buffaloes. Some buffaloes, huh? Open one of these. See what they look like. Yeah, I'm gonna take a little bit one more. Just thinking off. This place is heading in the wrong direction, man. I think we are headed in the wrong direction. I will direction. take two of those. Okay. For sure. You got it. And then uh, just whatever the difference was. Okay. Sounds good. How you everything all right? How you been? I'm doing good, man. Doing so good. So you're switching from collectibles to just some volume. Yeah, I made some money off of numismatic, but I'm just I mean the money's there, but what are you gonna do with that slab coin when shit hits a fan? You know, yeah, it's like good point. It's I mean yeah, I get. I'm you take a hole in your backyard and you bury it. I'm with, I'm yeah. with, I'm with you on that. Then I gotta buy a new show. <laughs> I'm so. with you. All right, let me write. Let me write it up for you. I appreciate that, Scott. Yeah. What's up, Aurelio? What do you got there today? Some paper money, it looks like. Yeah. Well, these are. Well, that's a decent bill. That's a black eagle. Uh, yeah. Condition is eh. And the large note, not these two are not in great condition. This one, this one's not in great good condition either, but it has some value. So yeah. let's leave it out. What else? Did, what else did you bring? Oh. I don't know what that. Uh, that's I don't know what that it looks like. It's from the top of a cane or yeah, something, but it broke a broke off. I don't. I I'll test it for you. I don't think that's gold. I don't uh, you got a very highly polished uh, homemade proof set. Let's see what's in here. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, you got a little bit. That's the bill is the best thing. Yeah. Uh, unless this, yeah, unless we get lucky and that's gold, I, I doubt it. I doubt it too. But uh, you got like a that. German silver, German coin. Yeah. And you got the proof set. This, this is just kind of, a, this is kind of yeah. just a gimmicky thing. It's yeah, an Indian penny put in there. These are, oh, these are. Wait, that's a token. Let's see what that is. I thought one was a token. Yeah, this is a, it's a Civil War token. This. This, I don't know. I'd have to look at that a little better. I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, I can't, I can't, can't make it out. I couldn't make out anything on that either. I can't it's tell. It's right now. Right? All right, well, let me look into it. Okay. I'll be right back. How's it going? Good, how you doing? Good, what can I do for you? Oh, I remember you. Yeah, we got these two. You're the guy that here. does the cleanouts, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. How's business? It's, it's going pretty good. We're, we're keeping busy, thankfully. Making any money? Trying, yeah. Did this, what did these come out of a clean out? Yeah, they came out of a house in uh, University Heights. Uh, they're Omega, ladies Omega watches. And usually those don't have um, much collector value. Yeah, I remember you were saying the men's are usually. The men's, yeah. Men's watches are much more collectible than ladies. Let's see if they're gold. I think they're probably gold. Take a look. So this was just found, you just found this randomly in the... Yeah, just in a, in a drawer. I keep found both of them, actually. Yeah, the drawer and envelope. You're starting to like this business, huh? Yeah, it, it it's... That one's gold. Good. So that's good. And this one's chunkier, in this case a little bigger. Um, in the future, do you uh, you should think about maybe starting a, an eBay account for stuff that's you don't want to scrap. Like if it's collectible, mm -hmm. like if it's a men's Omega watch, sometimes they're a lot more collectible. You don't want to, you don't want to necessarily melt those things. So I could get the movement out of it. Make sure it's gold. Oops.
This one's not Mark Zion. Oh, it is. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> They're both gold. So, All right. yeah, usually with these things, we just, the bands aren't gold. Yeah. The case is gold, mm -hmm. 14 carats. So, I'll just uh, break this off and weigh it if you want to do that and just sell it for the scrap. What do you want to do? Yeah. Either that or you can try and retail them. It's up to you. But I don't think these are going to go for much more than the gold. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, right. Go Let me go figure out what to work cool with that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I weighed it up. You got two two hundred and four bucks worth of scrap. All right. Let's do it. Do it? All, right. Yep. All right. I'll write you up. I need your ID. All right. Here we go. There you have it, guys. That was a fairly average day here in uh, my shop. And um, you know, as you can see, I buy all sorts of different things. It's not just uh, coins. It's not just bullion, but. Uh, you know that's probably the majority majority of the stuff that I see coming in here, and I figured you'd like to you know see how it works here. Uh, some some people will not go on camera, so I can't get everybody on camera. You know I understand they just don't want to be on uh, on video, and um, you know for the ones that will, you know uh, I'm happy to have them on. You know it's interesting to me. It's interesting content. I myself watch some other channels that do something similar, and I just thought it'd be cool to you know get some interactions with other customers. But uh, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, please like and subscribe. Until the next video, see you then.